Okay, we're now actually going to solve a problem. We're going to solve that first problem we had. Determine the force and center of pressure on a rectangular wall of a tank filled with gasoline, SG 0.68, with depth 3 meters and wall length 10 meters. So this is our picture. And we have to remember that this is the wall here coming out towards us 10 meters. So we actually have a picture like this, where we have a wall of 10 meters and a depth of 3 meters. And SG is equal to 0 0.68. We will point out, because later we will have inclined plates, that this wall makes a 90 degree angle with this liquid surface here. And also, this is a nice problem because the depth of the wall is 0. What does it mean when D equals zero? That means H equals eta. Remember, H is measured from the surface of the liquid. Eta is measured from the top of the plate. Here we have the liquid surface equals the top of the plate. So that's H equal to eta. So in keeping with convention, we will just use H. We're going to just use the variable H. So what do we need? We need the force and center of pressure. First we have our formula for force, which is the integral over A. Remember, A is the plate and the area of the plate at the same time. B, dA. Where is dA? dA is our little strip of area. Remember that we can take a horizontal strip because we're horizontally symmetric. Now, we have atmospheric pressure at the top of the liquid, atmospheric pressure on the other side of the wall, so that means we can use P equal to rho g h, and so we're going to be using this formula right here. Now it's good policy to calculate rho g and keep it on this side. You'll need it in several different places. So what is rho g here? Well rho, all we have is the specific gravity, but rho is the specific gravity of our liquid times rho water. So that times g. So we have 0 0.68, that's unitless, and then we have rho water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, and then we have 9.81 meters per second squared. So our units will be newtons versus meters cubed. Is that correct? Yes. Get our calculator, 0 0.68 times 1,000 times 9.81 one is 6,671. 6,671. So that's our first result here, is that rho g is equal to that. Now let's work out dA. dA, remember our variable of choice here was H, because the liquid surface is the, the top of the plate. So that means we have dH for the height, and our width everywhere is just W. So that's that. We'll substitute 10 in later. And W does not depend on H. So we have FR equals rho G. We can pull that W out front. Then we have our integral. What's left inside of our integral? We have an h from here and a dh from here. And now we do our limits of integration. h goes from 0 at the top to l at the bottom. So from 0 to l. So now we're ready to substitute in. But we're going to hang on to rho g until the end. So what do we have? We have fr equals rho g times 10 meters times times the integral here, that's h squared over 2, and we're going from 0 to 3 meters. So we have meters, meters squared, meters cubed, so we we'll end up with newtons. Good job. We'll just put the newtons over here. So we have rho g times 10 times 9 over 2 newtons equals rho g. 10 times 9 is 90 over 2, 45. 
newtons, and now we'll multiply by our 6671, so times 45. 300,186 newtons. So 300,186 newtons. That is our answer for the force. Let's check our calculation with the centroid formula. So rho g is rho g, that's no problem, hc. hc of a rectangle is equal to d plus l over two, D is 0, L is 3, so 3 halves, equal to 1.5 meters, if you need the units. And then we have A equals the width times the length, so W times L equals 10 times 3 equal to 30. So that gives us FR is equal to rho G, 30 times 1.5 is 45 newtons, which is what we have. So we're good. Now we need to calculate our center of pressure. We're going to use the original formula here. So what do we have? We have substituting, we have 1 over FR, that's that part, the integral over A, H minus D is just H, since D is zero. H times P times DA. As before, P is rho G H. Rho G can come out front, so we have rho G over the resultant force. That's gonna give us just one over 45 times our integral what do we have? We have this H here and this H from P, so that's H squared, and dA. And so we have rho G over our resultant force. dA is the same as before. W, so that comes out front, W times the integral of H squared dH and now we're interested in where H goes from. H goes again from zero to L, from zero to L. So this is our integral for HP. All we need to do is substitute our values. So HP is equal to rho G over FR. So rho G over FR is one over 45. If you get a big number, you'll know that's wrong. 1 over 45 times W is 10. The integral of H squared is H cubed over 3 from 0 to 3. Let's check our units. We have rho G Newton over meters cubed. FR is Newtons, so we're left with 45 meters cubed. This is 10 meters. This is 3 meters cubed. So that's meters to the fourth, so we're left with meters, yay! We have 1 over 45 times 10 times 3 cubed over 3. Now remember, an answer has to be bigger than HC, but still inside the plate. So bigger than 1.5, less than 3. Calculator. So 1 divided by 45, and then times 10 times 3 cubed divided by 3. 2. That's a good number. 2 meters. Good number. Bigger than 1.5, smaller than 3. So our answer, FR equal to 300,186 newtons and HP equal to 2 meters. So our resultant force is right about there. Resultant force is two-thirds of the way down, 2 meters out of 3 meters, and that's where our resultant force is of 300,186 newtons. And we have solved this problem.